What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Cole and Jay, and we have traveled to an enormous spillway today in hopes of catching some crappie, but we'll literally catch anything that bites our jigs today. The water looks perfect, and we are just excited to see what we're about to catch. Yeah, so let's get after it. Let's see if we can catch, hopefully, something big, like Woo! massive. We'll see if we catch anything. Okay, so we're in the water. Um, we wanted to fish the other side over there. We had to walk across the dam to get over there, but they're having a, um, like a handicapped deer hunt right now. So they've got some guys, there's a food plot on top of that hill where there's some guys hunting and they don't want people going across the dam. So we are limited to this side, but that's okay. The other side is definitely the better side, I think, but we should still be able to catch the fish. Oh, I got something. I got it. Oh, he came off. No, he was a big old buffalo. Oh, I just had a huge buffalo. Yeah. Oh, I was, I was banging against the rocks and I was hung up, I thought, and uh, the fish took off. Holy crap, there's a big old buffalo. There's a, it's a big old buffalo. Oh, I got something. I got a fish. I got a crappie! I got a crappie! Yeah! That didn't take long. Woohoo! We're on the board. That's a nice one. Yeah. Solid black crappie. First what are you doing? One of the day. I just moved down here. The water's a lot calmer down here. And my first cast down here. That's that might be a good sign. Yeah, I'm gonna come here and join you in a second. Mm -hmm. Awesome beautiful fish. We got a stringer. We're gonna string a few of these fish up and take them back with us. So let's get them on there. Let's get back to casting. Beautiful fish. Oh, I got another one! Oh, shoot. I got another one! Oh, shoot. This guy is loaded. Two casts, two fish. Whoop. I didn't even get to go anywhere. <laughs> Here you go. Here, let's just do a little handoff. This is this is the good kind of crappie fishing. Whoop. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can catch um, another one. Three in a row. Oh, I got something. I got another crappie. Woo! I didn't even feel the bite, honestly. Number three, keep it. Okay, I'm gonna throw this one back. He's a keeper, but. Something. Fish on! Finally got one. Heck yeah. Jay's caught like four before I caught this one. She's caught five. She said she's caught five before I caught this one. He is a little small. If he was an inch longer, I'd keep him. We'll see how the day goes. I'll let him go now though. There's just this little bit of slack water out here in front of me. And that's kind of the problem with this side of the dam is that there's not as much of a current break. On the other side, there's a giant current break right by the bank that fish are probably stacked up in right now. But that's okay. We're making the best of it. And uh, I'm sure we're gonna catch plenty of fish over here. Fish on, fish on, I think it's a bass. It's a bass, I got a bass. Woo! Come here, man. Nice. Heck yeah, I put a bobber on to kind of keep my bait and the strings on a little longer. And uh, this dude took it down. I thought I had a big crappie. That is a beautiful spotted bass. Holy smokes. Beautiful colors. All right, I'm not going to keep you today. Stay back. We'll see you later. Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh my gosh, what is that? What is that? What is that? Is my drag too tight? No, it's a crappie. No, no, it's a drum. It's a drum. Ah. Oh. Woo! I thought it was a 
buffalo. Hold him up. Let's see him. I thought you had something crazy. I saw your stuff just going. He was fighting so weird. Yeah. Wow. Hey, we'll tell you, we told you we would catch everything and we would be happy with anything we caught today. I guess that's the third or fourth species. Yeah, too bad this wasn't a crappie, but I don't mind catching drum. They're fun. Yeah, I got pretty blue eyes. They hit your bait really hard. They freak you out. Yeah. It's awesome. Oh, well, maybe we'll catch a bigger one. Yeah. Or a buffalo. That'd be sweet. Okay. Be free. Oh, God. That's a big something. Is that a drum? It's gotta be a drum. I got a big fish. Fine, I'm like, I think it's a drum or a buffalo. I got a big fish. Is that a catfish? No, what is that? The drum is fighting really weird. It's a catfish! It's a big old catfish! I snagged him! Oh man, it's a bad day to be a snagged catfish. Woo, I got a big old catfish! Don't come off. Don't come off. Don't come off. Don't come off. I got you. I got you. I got you. A catfish. Dude, look at that. Not really sure how that happened. My jig is kind of bouncing off some rocks down there. And I'm assuming that he was probably just down in the rocks messing around. He might have swiped at it and then I snagged him. Or I don't know, I just ran into him. But that's a really nice channel cat. Yeah. Look at that, like super clean looking, super healthy looking. I'm gonna get him unhooked and I'm actually gonna throw this guy on the stringer with the crappie because this dude is awesome. All right, we're gonna throw this guy on the stringer and uh, get back to fishing. Sweet. Nice one. All right, I've got some good news for you guys. We got the green light to walk across the dam and fish on this other side, which we initially intended to fish. Uh, we caught some fish on the other side where we started at, but that bite quickly slowed down. And then our second spot we went to wasn't any good. So we're hopeful that we can get on a mess of fish on this side. So stay tuned. Let's see if we can get a couple more fish to add to our stringer. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. I cannot get a bite. Get up here. Oh, you're hooked up. I got one. I threw in her spot. <laughs> I got a bass. I, hey, I'm a bass master. That's the biggest crappie of the day, I think. Whoo, nice crappie. I've honestly caught um, five in this spot. This is, I think, number six, but I didn't have my GoPro on, so that's sad. Fish on, baby. Little guy. It's a little tiny. Probably a six inch crappie, so it's not gonna work. I'll take it though. Jay is just over here wearing them out, I feel like. That's only the second fish I've caught since we came over here. She's caught like six. But there's just this little, little slack water out there, a little eddy where it's swirling around and that's the only spot we can get bit. There's some really good calm water over here, but I'm not sure why we're not able to catch anything out of it. There we go. That might be a keeper. Feels pretty decent. Yes, sir. I'll take that. Check that out. Another nice one for the stringer. There we go. Oh, yeah, we Woo! We got doubles? We got doubles. Who's the bigger? Nothing. All right, guys, who's this bigger? I got mine here and got Jay's over there. Comment below. Who's got a bigger fish? I think they're both going to be too small to keep, though. So <laughs> we're going to send them back. Ready? Yeah. Three, Wait. two, one. Mine was definitely bigger. I caught mine like right underneath my feet. I was on the phone and I caught it right here. <laughs> All right. Woo! Well, we had a successful day out here at the dam. We figured we would catch more, but can't really complain. It's a pretty good mess of fish. I think we probably got 10 crappie and a good catfish on there. 
And uh, we're gonna head back across, we're gonna head back to the house, and we will see you guys when we get there. All right, we're back. It's the next day. We let the fish sit overnight on a bag of ice and they're ready to be cleaned. We've got all of our crappie on the table and I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna be cleaning them today for the table. Uh, we're just gonna be scaling the fish whole, removing the guts, cutting the head off, and we're gonna be frying them inside in a skillet full of hot grease. Very simple, very easy way to clean fish. These fish are a little bit smaller um, than the average size crappie that we normally keep. So it's a great way to prepare a smaller size fish. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. All you need is a spoon and a sharp knife and a, a mess of fish down here. So let's scale the fish. What you're gonna do, you're just gonna remove the scales from the tail towards the head. It's very easy with the spoon. You can use the knife if you want to, but the spoon really makes it really easy. Look at that, see all the scales just come right off? Especially if they've been on ice all night. Really makes it easy. Okay, flip it over to the other side. And we're not gonna show you guys us cleaning all the fish because it's kind of irrelevant. We're gonna show you guys how we just do one of them. And uh, we'll get inside and get cooking it pretty soon because it is really cold out here today. All right, that looks good. And then you're just gonna cut the head off. So this little spot here, that is their vent. You just wanna cut from there, kind of at a nice like vertical angle, just right around the head. Then you just reach in, remove the insides, no big deal. And then put them in your bucket of water. It's all there is to it. We'll take them inside, we'll wash them up a little bit more once we get back indoors. But that's basically it guys, it's really easy. We're gonna clean the rest of these fish and get out of these out of these cold weather. It's really cold, I can't believe how cold it is today. And uh, we're gonna get inside and get to cooking the fish. Okay, so here's what we got. Here's our fish that we cleaned outside. I also cleaned that catfish filleted. Got some chunks of it in the bag. This is a bag of uh, all-purpose flour and cornmeal mix. Pretty simple, I got it seasoned up with some additional spices. I got the skillet, filled up with some oil. It's heated up really nice. And uh, we are about to just drop these dudes in there. Here we go. Granny's gonna be ticked when, we, when she finds out that we made these fish and didn't invite her over for lunch. Right, these look good. Let's get them on the towel to dry off a little bit. And we got a couple more we're gonna cook. These are just some pieces of that catfish, a filet. Kind of cubed it up. Well, I guess I didn't cube it up, but I cut it into several different strips. That one looks awesome. Here we go. And we got one more whole fish. Beautiful. All right, we are done cooking our lunch today. We have beautiful little plates. Well, they're not, well, that's your cup. I'm gonna move it. Watch it. Sorry about that. <laughs> this is the plate. Oh, don't fall off fish. We have a sweet potato that we cooked in the microwave like a boss. And uh, we have the fried crappie and the catfish fillets. We have some more fish. We didn't cook at all, obviously. We just cooked a little bit for lunch. We're gonna save some for another occasion. I kind of made a joke about how Granny's been mad about it. mad at us for not including her in this lunch, so we might send those down the street to her house, so she'll be happy about that. Anyways, we are about to eat, but what's exciting is that, you know, we're not just gonna take a couple bites of our food and then in the video, we actually have some mail from you guys Yay! that we have to unbox. <laughs> We've been needing to unbox for a little while and we figured that now is a better time than never. So we are going to do that while simultaneously enjoying our lunch. Because a lot of people said that they like to watch us eat. Yeah. It's like the favorite part of the catch like, videos. Have, you should have filmed you eating the whole plate. Or not the whole plate, but the whole, all the food. Yeah, they'd be like five, it should have been five minutes for fishing, five minutes for cooking, and then 20 minutes eating. So, so, here we go. You're about to get your request. But before we just dig in, let's go ahead and open up our first package. Wanna do that? Why don't we try the food? Okay, maybe you're right. <laughs> let's try the food first. <laughs> and then we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna go for, you're gonna go for a filet. I'm gonna go for, go for the filet. a fish. Hey guys, this is, hey, you guys at home that cook your fish the way, do you munch the tails and the fins? Because we definitely do. So I'm gonna try the little tail part real quick. Mmm. Oh yeah. It's like eating a little potato chip. I love it. I think it's great. Mm. This is delicious. Oh. That's really good. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna remove the fins for now on this. All you do to eat a fish the way is just pull the fins off and you can munch on those like I did the tail just then. 
And then all you do is like you have the main like dorsal spine right here. You can just pull the fillets right off the side. It's really good. There it is, guys. I'm going in for a big first bite. That thing is smoking. It's a big bite. It's a huge bite. My mouth's not really that big. Here we go. <laughs> One bite. <laughs> Sorry, go. <laughs> Yum. That's so good. I love fresh crappie. Like crappie mm. has got to be our favorite fish to eat. And you know, the fact that we caught these fish yesterday in the river and it was really beautiful, clean, clear water, cool water, and um, cooking them fresh like this, it's just awesome. We got a little bit of Slappy Mama on there. Mm. Gotta have it, it's awesome. Okay, so now let me know, was your filet good? Was that good? Yeah, it's okay. really good. Okay, so now let me know that the food is good. Let's open up. A package because I am excited. <laughs> These two are from the same people. Yeah, from the same people or person. Yeah. It's same from the person. same person. Yeah. From Sorry. Michael Everton. And it's from South Africa, guys. Wow. International mail. I love that. So I think that we should open them at the same time. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, here we go. Oh. They're stronger than me. That's cool. It's, oh, it's magazines. I think it's Ooh. like a cover. Wow, check that out. Like, That's really cool. Here, we show you guys. Yeah, so these, wow. Ooh. These are That's awesome. Cool. These are really cool. So these are like international, well, I guess they're South African based uh, fishing magazines or outdoor magazines. So we have this one here. That dude's got a massive giant tarpon, tarpon yeah. on the front. The other one had like a cow nose ray or something on there. Really cool. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, cool. Okay, so along with, yeah, so along with the magazines, he also sent us like some printed like fish posters. So this has the Sunfish family, which is Central Arcidae, and it <laughs> has like all the different um, sunfish species and their scientific name affiliated with them. So that's really cool. It's actually really, really nice. Yeah. Really nice prints. Y'all see that? They have it for um, perch and bass and trout. Yeah. Wow. Really cool. Catfish. That's cool. That's really nice. Yeah, it looks like it got printed out of a right out of a book. We could probably, honestly, probably like trim these up a little bit, kind of line them up side by side, and match the photos together, mm -hmm. and like have a big print like that. That's really cool. Yeah. Thank you. That's really, really cool. We really, really appreciate that. What, what magazines do you have? Yeah, like hunting ones. Oh, cool. Really cool. Yeah. Awesome. All right, so a big thank you, Michael, for the awesome magazines and the prints and for your letter. Thank you so much for writing this to us. And uh, we really, really appreciate your support of our channel and for watching all of our videos. It really means a lot to us. So thank you so much for that. We'll keep it all together. And uh, we'll definitely be probably putting time to put those prints together yeah, and put awesome. these magazines on our shelves for us to read. All right, so we've got one more package to open. It feels pretty. Oh, dang it, man. <gasps> Oh, it's these silly spider lures. That's cool. <laughs> hey, check those out. Those are the Lunker Hunt Phantom Spider Lure. These were released this year, I think, at iCast. And they are a pretty different looking lure. Lunker Hunt is known to make some interesting lures that are kind of gimmicky, that resemble um, prey items in nature. They have like a turtle, a frog. Snake, they're kind of like savage gear. They're kind of like mm -hmm. a similar thing. They make all sorts of random things like get a scan of. I would say this is probably like a tarantula. But I, we've been intrigued. We've been wanting to try mm -hmm. these out and see if we can catch a fish with it. Unfortunately, it's gotten kind of cold and I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do it until it warms back up. But look at those dudes. Phantom spiders. That's awesome. And it looks like we each have a like a brownish one and a whitish one. Yeah. It should definitely work. I've watched some videos on YouTube of people using these and catching fish with it. So they definitely do work. They definitely do mm -hmm. catch fish. And it would be interesting to see if we can, you know, catch a fish on one of these little spiders. I'm yeah. going to read the note and see what it says. Dear Colin J, I saw a guy smashing some smallies with these baits. And I thought, Colin J. <laughs> <laughs> the man in the video used them uh, stream fishing around ducks. I got each of y'all two colors, light and dark. Love your channel, and you two are wonderful to watch. Go catch a big one. Yeah! <laughs> Writing this in my Nature Bites tea. Aww, <laughs> awesome. that's so cool. That's really cool. Love, Love that. Terry. Thanks, Terry. Thank this you is so really much. Nice. This is really awesome. I am excited. really excited about this because we have been like tinkering with the idea of purchasing these, you know, for a while. It's like, man, we're gonna, you know, when are we gonna throw a spider bait? But 
We have to now. <laughs> we have to throw a spider bait and see if we can catch them. I would love to smash a small on one. Yeah, that'd I bet be a small awesome. would smash one. Oh yeah. But anyways, thank you, thank you so much for that, and thank, thank you, you to Michael for sending us the uh, mm -hmm. magazines. Really nice. But this is where we are going to end the unboxing portion of the video, and I guess this is where we're going to end the overall video. We're going to continue eating our lunch. And uh, we just want to say thank you guys for hanging out with us today and yesterday on the water. Hope you guys enjoyed watching us catch some fish. It was a lot of fun. It was really cold, really rainy, yeah. and then it just got so cold. even colder today. It's like stupid how cold it is today. But uh, we hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button for us. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you are subscribed to our channel so you won't miss out on any of our future adventures. We're Colin and Jay, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.